Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam, former player, former professional indoor coach and current beach volleyball coach. And most importantly, Sarah's husband. <laughs> he has got that intro down Practice. packed. Um, okay. I mean, before we do this, and I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do or not, but something about me is like, I don't do any form of social media because I have an addictive personality and tend to go like down the rabbit hole. However, lately, I have been reading a lot of YouTube comments, like probably all of them. So episode four just released, and I think I spent like two hours scrolling through all of the YouTube comments, which I love. And I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed and I, I don't think I understand like how passionate people are about Haikyuu because there were some comments that were so long and so well thought out yeah, I, it, I, I'm kind of blown away, to be honest. Like in a good way. Adam is buried in that rabbit hole. Deep, it's deep. <laughs> it's deep. Um, but I'm glad he said that because we do read your comments. We both do many other things. YouTube is not our first job. It's not even a job. It's our hobby. hobby. Yeah. So we don't have a lot of time to respond, but we do read them all, especially Adam. And he is now wondering, he's questioning his statements because everybody is like jumping on his statements. Not, not questioning my statement. I just, I think for, for clarification, I understand that Haikyuu is a show and that there's some creative liberties. And this is around the realisticness of the eyes closed quick attack. You are seeing this five weeks after writing these comments. Fair. So <laughs> we'll, take, we'll take it back. The I can I, I definitely appreciated the moment and a lot of people were concerned that I wasn't able to enjoy the moment for what it was. But that's not true. That's just Adam. I thoroughly enjoyed mm -hmm. the interaction. I completely was engaged in the success that the two of them had at the time and it doesn't it doesn't take away from my enjoyment but my brain just goes to logic and reality all the time i can't help it so yeah. it was like a volleyball comment without hindering my enjoyment of watching it or understanding what the experience meant and i'm all i'm all for it and i'll probably just keep talking about things like that and say but that's why you watch us because we know volleyball so just, more of that to come for sure just throwing that out there because I've been a little overwhelmed in a good way. He just loves you guys so much and wants to make sure that that love is mutual. Um, I'm new, this is new for me. Best of intentions yeah. all the way around. Um, last episode we met Asahi and got a little taste of Noya. We met him a little more. So that was a, that was a double whammy. That's a heavy hitter meeting those two characters. What it remind me of Sahi is? Oh dear. Man bun. Oh, got ace. it, got it. The ace, the ace. And Noya is the libero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good, good. Um, so we're unsure. Hinata and Kageyama are really working hard to get Asahi back on the squad. It's gonna Noya, happen. It's gonna happen. Noya doesn't want to play unless Asahi comes back. He's calling him a big whip. So we don't know what that's about. And we found out that Takeda is working it, trying to get coach Ukai, or he's not even a coach, the shop owner Ukai to come back and not even come back, just join coach, the team. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. not talking about grandpa Ukai, we're talking about just Ukai. And he got in a coma to say yes to a practice match. So that's kind of where we left off, exciting stuff. Today we are watching season one, episode nine of Haikyuu called A Toss to the Ace. We'll see what happens. But I remember this episode vividly. I'm not gonna say anything else. I remember my reaction to it. I remember how I felt watching it. So I'm so excited to relive this 
and to see Adam watch it for the first time. So here we go. Episode nine of Q, a toss to the ace is coming right now. Juice is flowing. <笑>ジェットリンの。お、逃げるな。だってお前は男怖いんだもん。今別に怒ってないだろ。ま、俺たちからすれば猫間のことって昔話みたいな感じで聞いてたし、今の大の that's Daichi, right? Yes. Okay, I'm just making sure. Oh I don't, my god. I don't have a rain man memory like you do. Okay, I'm just But you saw sure. his face! I know, that's and I was right. Just making sure. I can't believe you must made me press pause for that. No. <laughs> まったくお前は。でかい図でして。相変わらずヘナチョコだな。西野屋と対局にも程がある。もう少し言葉をオブラートに包めよ。安心しろ。菅はもちろん西野屋も問題ない。お前と違って懐が深いからな。お前基本優
ネコマ高校が来るとしてもゴールデンウィーク最終日うちと5年ぶりの練習試合ですなんで今向こうは鵜飼監督と親交の深かったネコマタ監督が最近復帰されたそうですそれを聞いて練習試合をお願いしてみたんです鵜飼君たちの時代は一番ネコマとの交流が深かった時期じゃないですかああそういえば78年前ネコマでセッターだった方が今コーチをされてるそうですよ今年が最後のチャンスだ鵜飼必ず必ず全国で会うぞあ,あ必ず会うぞ、like、ちょうど鵜飼君も現役の頃だからもしかしたら顔見知りかもしれないですねおいはい。The fact that he went from being like, What are you trying to manipulate me? Hey, when's practice? Like, back to back, didn't even take a breath. <laughs> I know what you're doing, and it's working. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> But I want you to know that I know what you're doing. <laughs> But sign me up. <laughs> I love that. I thought he was going to spray him with the water bottle. <laughs> no, no, yes, no. こっち来れない間の特訓で何やってたのうん主にブロックフォローとなブロックされたボールを拾いまくる特訓なかなかうまくできねえんだけどブロックフォローがちゃんとできればお前らももっと安心してスパイク打てるだろこいつ見るたび違うとこに合わさずって<笑>おいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおお疲れ様。集合。紹介します。今日からコーチをお願いする。ゆかいくんです。こ、コーチ。本当ですか。ネコマとの試合までだからな。そう。え、でも、坂の下商店の兄ちゃんだよな。本当にコーチ。彼は君たちの先輩で。あのウカイ監督のお孫さんです。えー、They didn't even know! 店の名前、坂の下じゃないのあですか母方の実家の店なんだよ。時間ねえんだ、さっさとやるぞ。お前らがどんな感じが見てえから、6時半からゲームな。相手はもう呼んでやる。え相手カラスの町内会チームだ。That's the local, the local neighborhood squad? Yeah! Alright. What is the. What would the equivalent of that be? I would say it's like the team that you've played with in Italy. Oh, okay. Because all those guys were from the same neighborhood. Yeah. Well, ish. Got same it. Same area. Okay. Except for you. Yeah. And so they're all guys that are around. It's like the team that Ukai played on until he just literally became the coach like a minute ago. No, I love how he was like, I'm only coaching you for a week to beat the team. That's my rival and then I'm out. Yeah. I mean, obviously he's going to stick around after that. He's going to have a good time, but So that is the phone call. He was calling his friend who is on the neighborhood team to set up the practice match. I mean, I'm curious they should probably lose this game. Like if those guys all played and they're like a Whatever semi pro should be relatively good. I wouldn't even say semi pro, I would say it's like okay. Backstory about Adam 
the year that we got married, I was playing in Italy in a really small town. Um, but nearby, there was a men's team that would be, were those guys getting paid? A little bit. Okay. That was like a semi-pro team. Yeah. Um, and Adam got to play with them. That's super fun. So maybe they're a lower level than that. Okay. Because the guys I played with, like, were, they were legitimate. This is like players. senior A. Okay. 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 All right. Um, so, yeah. We get to meet the neighborhood association. The gang. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Crow's gonna get you. Good job picking that up. Okay. Yes, hey. Two things. One, Team Neighborhood Association reminds me of Pokemon, which I played as a kid, where you had the like local gyms. Just throwing that out there for anybody who is older. I thought that was funny. So would all of these guys have gone to this high school mm -hmm. and kind of stayed there? So this is basically an alumni match. Basically. Alright. I, lo I love this. I'm here for it. ちょうだい会チーム入ってくれよ。こっちのリベロ仕事で来られないんだよ。ああ、それなら。あと2人か。どうすっかな。そっちまでは何人かいるような。あ、私さんだ。あ、あたしさん。またこいつ。俺は
I got the full body chills. I was a big old goose bump and did my tear, did my eyes get misty? Yes. I'm processing, there's a lot that just happened. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I mean, the first thing that pops up to me is like, to admit that you're afraid in a situation like that takes an incredible amount of courage. I think. Yes. But mm -hmm. being able to say it is going to allow him to overcome it and find more confidence instead of just worrying about it. Because his teammates are going to pick him up now. And I love that Kageyama didn't want him to just go. He wants to earn the spot mm -hmm. and he was going to go. That to me is a huge step for him and not just being like, hey, fine, I'm going to be on the starting side. Yeah. Like there was a respect shown there, which I was really hoping in the moment was gonna happen. Yes. So that's, um, as a coach, you'd be proud of seeing that moment from him and a little bit of growth between the two. Cause it's, it's a tough dynamic. You have player one and two, only one can be on the court. Who's better, who's not. You want there to be good synergy on your team, but you have to manage the competitiveness of the two. So I mean, I, I love that. And Suga stepped aside admitted his fear, but also said, I'm not giving up. Right. Like this isn't me rolling over. Because he needs to earn it. Mm -hmm. And he needs to know, it, it will help him keep his personality in check knowing that there's somebody competent who can come off the bench if he's being a, oh, I can't say what I was gonna say, if he's being a pain in the, in the rear. Thank you so much, Adam. <laughs> um, and then he wants to he wants to set his buddy again, and he feels responsible in part for that. I think so. Um, it I takes know. an incredible amount of strength to do what he just did. Yeah, I agree. Oh, 
けど攻撃がなちょっとロックもう何本目かも分かんねえ何度もトスを呼んだ俺に持ってこい俺が決めてやるだけど最後の最後トスを呼ぶのが怖くなったあナイトまさきすがナイトナイトWatched this the first time. That scene crushed me. Crushed me. What? In, in what way? Well, I think it's impactful because, I mean, as a hitter, you can relate to that. And anybody who says 100%. they can't relate to that is lying. I'm sorry. Just like the. Sense of helplessness that you can feel sometimes as a hitter when things are not going your way, and like that feeling of just like, oh my gosh, if I call for it again, like, is this one gonna work? Is it not gonna work? And just like wanting to hide sometimes. So, I think it hit me so hard because they were able to capture a sentiment that is like so ingrained in a volleyball player, I would say, not ingrained, but like. We've all been. We've all been there. Felt that, yeah. Um, I, I think it's really interesting how you see the dynamics of the team here, where you know one player feels so responsible, and you're just dejected. You can't think about anything other than letting your teammates down. But your teammates don't feel that way. They just want you to keep going, and they're、mm. supporting you. And it's that like. It, it's that relationship of how you feel versus how the team feels and who feels responsible for what. And Noya's words were harsh, but they were true. And moments like this, especially for hitters, you have to learn how to deal with them. And you will respond in one of two ways you will learn how to deal with the pressure and how to keep going. And for me, Like, this is one of those scenarios where a senior player or a coach, you know, after you've cooled off, comes in and says, Hey, here's what they were doing to you. This is why it wasn't working. Like, we need to work with you on hitting off the block or tipping over it or resetting something and just building that mindset of, like, yes, I'm going to score next time instead of just sitting and feeling sorry for yourself. And I don't love the response of walking away. You can be upset. You can feel whatever, but you don't walk away. I, that dynamic was kind of hanging in the air for the last several episodes.、Yeah. So I think, like, it's clear that all three of those players, Asahi, Suga, and Noya, have taken responsibility for that in a different way. 
Yes. But all of them have taken responsibility for their like lack of or part performance of or their part in that happening. Um, but do you think that Asahi took responsibility? Like, is yes, and I think that that is one. There are two things that I love about this: a, how it captured that sentiment of feeling helpless as a hitter, and b, that Asahi did take full responsibility for what happened. He didn't once look at Noya and say like, "You should have covered me," or look at Suga and be like. Why did you set me so much or your sets were bad, which I have played with. I can't tell you how many players that would have pointed the finger and he pointed it at himself. So I like those two point two parts of that interaction the best. I love that it kind of like encapsulated what has been hanging there and what the, the viewer, the first time viewer is wondering about. Yeah. And the broken bro. <laughs> so one other question for you before we keep going is, I agree with your points of him taking responsibility, but what do you think of his reaction to quit? <laughs> I mean, if that's the thing that's going to push you to quit, then you're weak. <laughs> and I know it's harsh. I love Asahi. I do. But like, that's just mental weakness. Um, I, to me, it's feeling sorry for yourself. Yeah, which I, I mean, don't. what's the difference? Yeah, I <laughs> no yeah. offense to like anybody if you're feeling sorry for yourself, it's allowed. But like to walk away from your team when you have a match that you don't execute and you feel responsible. If I walked away from every match that I felt responsible for losing, I would have been done playing like decades ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and and the emotion is fine. You're you feel the way you feel, and you have an immediate reaction. But to me, it's like what happens after that next practice, mm -hmm. next week. Like Keep I don't building. love that he didn't come back. Work together. That's what a yeah. team is for. Yeah.新年度になったらすぐインターハイなんですよ。決まんないスパイクを打ったって楽しくないからな。何言ってんだ。そんなに少しも思ってねえ。お前だって拾っても点に繋がんないなら虚しいだろ。やめろって。西野はそんな風に
Before we get into the meat, I want to I want to do a couple things that don't really matter, but I thought were really really. Did cool. you cry? Uh, I felt it. I'm I'm amazed. I'm amazed at how much emotion and realism they can pack into like a scene. Look yeah, at this. It's, it's incredible. It really really is. Look at this. To the guy who told me maybe Sarah should ease off on crying so much this time. No. No, I'm not going to. If anything, I'm going to cry harder. Oh. Okay, before we get into the main thing, a couple things I really like. One, uh, Tanaka, the middle. Tsukushima. Tsukushima, the middle. 
his little interaction on the other side of the net with Kageyama about him being a sadist, I thought was hilarious. Um, but Kageyama, that one comment there of set him the ball. He knows. He he know it shows. He, no. it, it shows incredible insight. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And and I thought that was just like a such a cool moment of you need to give him the ball again because he needs to get his confidence back. And then the little quip from his teammate about him being, a, I, I just thought like, that's a team interaction thing that's just hilarious to me. I, I really love that. I love that Suga, all of the thoughts that run through his mind about what should I do? If I set him and he gets blocked, what happens? How do I do this? Like all of those thoughts go into the decision-making for a setter and it can be a crippling Mm. It can be a crippling process to try the and twisties. do that and understand, yeah, where your hitters are at, who's going to score, who's hot right now. There's so many things to think about. Um, and then just him calling it at the end to make the decision easy. Perfect. That is the breaking point. Yeah. You see it all happening. Yeah. You see Noya. He's been working on those covers. He got a pancake cover. He's been practicing for that moment. You see Suga, he's like, everything you just said, all the thoughts running through his head, like, and then the moment that Asahi called for that ball, oh, I melted. Do, do you know what I thought? Waterworks. Do you know what I thought the most powerful scene was though? Was when he was up in the air and his five teammates are around him right oh. now, swings. That to me is like, I am not doing this alone. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And most importantly, I want to know who he blew up on the block. He went through the block. I know, I want to know who, I want to, I, like, was it uh, Tsukushima's? I think it went between Kageyama and Tsukushima. Okay. I, just a little, I... And Tanaka's uh, so emotional. He can't even say He's anything. such he a softy. He's just like, oh my god, you're amazing. And like, oh. That, that was, it was, that was an incredible kind of evolution of a player. Mm. And to be able to kind of capture that of like how you feel when you fail, when things don't go wrong. You know, some people's instinct is to quit. Your teammates bring you back. Your teammates lift you, you up. Uh, that's uh, what it means. That's... I cried the first time. I did it again. <laughs> like... That, I mean, that might be one of my favorite episodes. That is high cue. Yeah. It even got a, a tight throat from Adam. You know, like when you're gonna cry and you feel you're like, well, I, it comes out my eyeballs. Adam, that's a, that is the emotion we're looking for here. Thank you. I was hoping, going into this episode, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, oh man, I remember this episode. This one got me good. But I didn't wanna say anything, but deep down I was worried. I was like, is this guy gonna ruin this? Cause this is a big moment. You did not ruin it. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm so glad we were on the same page for that. <sighs> that was great. That was great. So oh. much going on there. Teammate dynamics. They pack a lot into an episode. Psychology. At one point, Adam is like, what happened to the play? Oh, you just get ready. One play in high cue will last <laughs> <laughs> 17 minutes and I love every single second of it well it's it's really cool because it one play does last that long because mm -hmm. you have six players on the court all thinking mm -hmm. something different all dealing with their own and we need to know it all emotion yeah it's it's we need to know it, but they do such a good job of like this is what the setter's thinking about. This is what the libero's thinking about. This is what the hitter's thinking about. Uh, it's, oh, that's really cool. It's really well done. It's really well done. <sighs> All right, let's keep rolling. This is great. Um, hit us up with your thoughts. I know that you guys really love this episode as well. So, you know Adam's gonna read every single comment. So make sure to keep them coming. If I don't get my work done, it's your fault. <laughs> He will read every single one, and if he's feeling extra passionate, he might respond. Um, we would also be very excited. If you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned because more Haikyuu is on the way. Okay.
Bye.